ATM strike, but you can select FX here if you want to create some other strike. So now there are uh, multiple options uh, or multiple keywords which you can use to figure out a strike. So one is if you are trading with weekly options and you don't, so ATM keyword basically finds the strike based on future price. And for weekly options, sometimes uh, monthly futures are not correct instrument to figure out or find out the ATM strike. So we have something called synthetic future, which is calculated based on, so the futures price calculated based on current week options, calls and puts. If you want to know the formula of synthetic futures, you can search it on Investopedia. They have explained it uh, in a much better way. You can just select the underline and this will find synthetic uh, futures value for Nifty 50. And based on that, you can find out strike price. And strike price in Nifty are in multiple of 50 and 100. So if you don't want to trade uh, strikes which are in multiple of 100, you can use round keyword and make base as 100. So it will always select a strike price which is ending with a multiple of 100 value. Let's say uh, it will not select 10,050 as a strike. It will always select 10,000 or 10,100 or 9,900. 50 ones will be killed. So this is one way to select a strike. If you want to take a screenshot of this. Then if you want to move uh, 50, uh, one step or two steps out of the money, then you can use ATM keyword. Nifty. And if you want to go two steps out of the 100 points out of the money in Nifty, then you can just use two here. If you want to go 200 points out of the money, then it will be four. If you want to go in the money, then minus two will select in the money option. Like this. Or if this is very confusing for you, then just keep it zero. This will select ATM strike. You can just add a number. So 200 points away from ATM or just put a minus sign here, then 200 points below from ATM. This can be other way to, to figure out a strike or write a strike formula.